Good morning. I just thought I would do a little video to show what um, I actually do to get my tractor, the 8420 and cart ready for the day of harvest. First up, filling up the service truck, um, the tank on the back with, with fuel. Um, I don't have to fuel up every day, but this morning, today is going to be a full run through of checking things over and Freezing and I I definitely am gonna need fuel today. So Gotta get that up first So I'm just gonna go ahead and leave the service truck by the road and walk out to the tractor and actually pull it up um, Because I still have corn left on it from yesterday um, So it's gonna have to come to the road anyway I have to leave the service truck running because the battery was dead this morning. So, um, the combine, we are right next to the shop. So my dad, he just took the combine in last night and we left the car out here. Um, yeah, he is working on getting that ready to go and I'm going to work on my cart. So first up, I'm going to go ahead and check the hydraulic fluid. Just make sure that is good to go. Ow, it just hit my head. Um, yep, so it's right here. So it's it's good. It's not gonna be an issue. And then I have to untarp it. Oh yeah, I also checked the other oil, but it was good. I just didn't get that on camera now. Check Ooh, the radiator, make sure I don't need to blow it out. So while that's fueling up, I will go ahead and grease the cart. Um, I know that's kind of loud, but we only have to grease the whole thing. Um, it just kind of depends on how many how many um, bushels go through the cart. Usually it's about every other day um, I have to do the whole thing. And then every day I grease the U-joint, uh, which I'll just wait until it's done fueling up because I'll have to fold the auger. But yeah, there's several, several places um, along there that you have to grease. They're super fun. And then I, my trick is to use like one of these stadium blankets. This one's from Precision Planting, of course. <laughs> um, but it is super wet today. Like that is really wet. We're probably gonna get a late start. But who wants to lay on wet ground all day? I know people like have seen me do this and they're like, oh, you're not a real farmer, blah, blah, blah. And to me, I'm just working smarter, not harder, because I don't want to sit in a tractor for the next 12, 16 hours in wet clothes. So all those men can judge me all they want. I will continue to use this. The only way to reach these ones is to literally lay on the ground um, because they're like right here. Um, but yeah. So this one you actually have to turn. It's right there. I've already turned it, um, but it's plenty dirty. This one is probably my least favorite one to get to. I just wish they would have made this just a tiny bit bigger. And it's always really nasty. Also, pro tip. Check to make sure the grease gun has grease in it before you crawl on the ground. Um, and I can't even be mad at anyone else because I'm pretty sure, pretty sure I was the a-hole who used this one last. So this is, this is all on me. Dang it.
All right. Well, we're done fueling up, but I'm going to leave the, the pickup running, zero to stroke running, um, just to make sure and the battery doesn't die on me um, and Jeff doesn't have to come rescue me and got the grease gun ready to go. Okay, now this one in here also kind of stinks because you actually, well, you have to take that, the PTO off anyway to grease it, but you have to take it off and get it positioned just right um, to be able to reach this one. We not only have this one that's a real pain to get to, you can see it in there, we also have this one, so two for one in this spot. Okay, just a couple more up top to go. Um, super fun. Just gonna have to, just have to fold the auger, auger down, so. I usually just climb the ladder and have to like finagle myself on top of the car to reach these. But with the service truck here, I'm just going to back it right up. Um, and the reason I don't usually do this is because um, the combine, I think I should be able to reach it from them. The combine is here too, usually. And so, or fueling up the combine, doing all of that stuff. First up, we have to, uh, well, I'll kind of turn it a little bit to, ooh, maybe not. I'll make this work. So this is the U-joint that we grease every single day um, because it gets, it gets a lot of work. All right, well, that was too hard to do one-handed and then um, then I accidentally dropped my phone on the ground, but everything, everything up top is good to go. I just have to get all of my stuff from yesterday, cups and things, food containers out of the cab and back to the shop we go. All that's left to do, I'll probably go back to the shop and help, help Pops get the combine ready, but the cart is good to go. I just need to, uh, got my drinks and snacks, you know, the very important part. And it'll probably still be a little bit before we get going because it's really wet. Heavy dew this morning.